you're a part of the church, I want Carrie to come up here. And before uh, Pastor Frank comes, I want to sing a song that I wrote a number of years ago. I was sitting in my office, Pastor, at the church. I didn't share this in the first service, but I was sitting in my office at the church one day, and I heard a little commotion. And uh, this is when I was on staff at a church, and I'm a pastor's kid and been on staff, and I, I was born on staff. You know what I'm saying when your dad's a pastor? Um, and, and I was sitting in my office at this church that I was on staff at, and I heard a little bit of noise, and I thought, well, it's, it's noon. I thought everybody was gone from the church, gone to eat lunch, and I was getting some stuff done. And I left my office and walked downstairs, and in a little room, in a little, well, it was a little, just an alcove area, sort of like a lobby area behind the sanctuary. There was a lady from our church, and she had a lady with her that I didn't recognize. And I said, uh, when, that, when they, I walked in, they stopped, and they were praying together. And one of the ladies was weeping, and I said, uh, oh, hi, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. She said, oh, no, no, come here, I want you to meet my friend. And this was a lady at work with her. She said, she was telling me yesterday and today about some of the stuff that she's been going through in her life and some problems. And I told her, the Lord can take care of your situation. He loves you. And so we decided to come by on our lunch hour and just pray and spend some time with the Lord. And I said, oh, that's awesome. And I walked back up to my office and I thought, if they had called this morning to try to get an appointment with a pastor, they probably would have had to go two or three days down because he's got so many things already stacked up. I was running behind on everything I was working on, so I probably couldn't have worked him in or wouldn't have worked him in. But without an advance reservation, they had an audience with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And in all honesty, he can handle their situation better than me and the pastor and six other pastors all put together. And I realized that because of the cross, because of the work that Jesus did when he said, it is finished, and that veil was torn in two, we, common folk, now have access to the Holy of Holies. And I walked into the choir room and sat down at the piano and I began to write. And this is the song that came. And I want it to be a reminder to you, no matter who you are, where you're from, what your background may be, because of the redemptive plan of the price that Jesus paid on a rugged cross, you and I can go into the Holy of Holies. In the holy of holies, behind the heavy veil, sat the ark of the covenant, where the Most High dwelt. And only the high priest could enter to offer up the sacrifice for atonement of sin. Oh, but the veil was rent and an instant revealing that holy place. For all the hill nearby on a rugged cross, justice meant grace. And that I can go into the holy of holies. I can kneel and make my petitions known. I can go into the holy of holies. And although I'm just a common man, because of God. no more required for the blood of Christ the spotless lamb completely paid the price for the sacrifice of worship it will open heaven's doors allowing us to enter in the presence of the Lord
Just a common man because of God's redemption. 